So this canoe, about 20 feet long, a thousand years old, was used by Native Americans back in the day. And you said that it was found in Hancock, right? Yes. And actually it's interesting because Florida has more dugout canoes found in our state than any other place in the world. A canoe estimated to be at least 1,000 years old has been discovered in Florida. Wait till you hear this. According to a report by Bay News 9, a stunning discovery has taken place in Polk County. Florida has more than a whopping 30,000 lakes spanning over millions of acres of land. And Polk County has over 500 lakes and over the years a rich history has been discovered at the bottom of them. The canoe is about 21 feet long and it would have held about 7 passengers. They would cut down cypress trees and hold them over fire to soften the bark enough to carve out the shape of the canoe. According to Lake Wales History Museum curator Bartholomew Del Camp who also says that they had to soak it in resin for up to a year to preserve it because when it was taken out of the water by fishermen it started to fall apart. In the 1820s, native tribes actually moved through the area and all of Polk County was a semi no reservation until the war, when they were pushed further south into the Everglades. Originally in our time, we had two native tribes in this area that are known about. And they were here for several thousand years until the Spanish came, and those two tribes then died off from disease. Experts think the canoes were used for many things, but mainly to survive. And for the Native Americans, the lakes were the lifeblood of the community. Everything they ever needed was on the lakes. Fresh water, fishing, hunting. Back then, the land was so swampy that the easiest way to travel was a dugout canoe. Apart from the 1,000-year-old canoe, Lake Wales History Museum is home to hundreds of other historical artefacts that gives a closer look at how far we've come, and the museum was actually the city's main train station at one point. Over the years, the museum has transitioned into an eclectic place where people can come and enjoy historical exhibits, but what do you guys think about this one anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.